um, entirely run by students, so it's edited and designed by students throughout the year. And their problem was that they didn't have a way to um, showcase the best articles produced for them because they produce a newspaper every two weeks. And it is a full newspaper, so it has about 32 pages with um, two articles on each page. So there's quite a lot of articles that they come with, come out with every month. Um, and they wanted a way that they could showcase the articles that would be budget and environmentally friendly. So the solution is we decided to create an ebook um, with an accompanying magazine. Um, it is, the magazine is full cover, it's eight and a half by 11, and it has 32 pages with 16 articles. And the ebook um, can be viewed on smart devices, um, so like your iPhone, your iPad, or your tablet. So the design process. I started out with research, um, just trying to see what other like high-end magazines and um, companies were doing, just to get a kind of idea what I wanted to do. And I start, and then I started planning it out and sketching, just to kind of get a feel for what I wanted to do. After that, um, I started designing. So I started with the masthead or the logo. Um, and after that, I moved on to the book covers and table contents. And for that, um, I created three different versions, each with a different grid system of three, four, and five grids. And after those were designed, I moved on to the layouts, which there are 16 layouts with um, stories on them. And to use that, I did, um, I used the Adobe Creative Suite. Um, so some of the ebook features, they're um, smart tablet accessible. They have an interactive table of contents, so you can just press a button on the side, and all um, you can get to any of the articles without having to flip through every single page in the ebook. And they can flip between horizontal and vertical. Um, so what I learned is, Obviously, how to format an ebook, that was something new. We don't really have a class on that yet, so I kind of had to learn that for myself. Um, how to create just effective layouts, and how to really work through my mental blocks when designing things and come out with a good product. Um, so I want to say a special thank you to my classmates, and especially Rachel, who you'll see in a couple minutes. She really helped me format the ebook when she was 16. 